y'all. I started my hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing these zillions again. This time I'm doing them in a brown and black. I haven't put no dye in my front of my hair yet, but I'm thinking about doing it because I feel like it'll look better. But I just been, y'all know I haven't dyed my hair in so long. I've been staying off the dye. But I got these grays in here, so I'm thinking about it. We'll see. And I'm thinking about not. I'm thinking about just leaving it because I'm loving my gray. Like, for real, for real. But I got this color in the front, and I got this color in the back. And, you know, then, like, spikes of little grays in the <laughs> all over. So, I don't know if that's going to work. But we'll see. All right, y'all, I'm going to get off of here. I just wanted to show y'all the start. I mean, me. This is what I've been, some of the stuff I've been doing by my hand, been cramping up. So, it's taking days to get it done. <laughs> I'm at MS. And, yeah, so, this week just been hard. Really hard. All right. I got to go later. Y'all see these braids? They cute. But after after a while, I'm going to cut them to here, like have a, just over the summer, have a short length. Like, I want a shorter style. I want it to come in here to be full, though. I, I still got this whole back side to do. Yeah, I did this side. I did most of it rather. Finish most of it. But yeah, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah. My fingers just be y'all know I don't have no control of my muscles with this MS and so it takes time now to braid. It ain't the same. I can't just go in there and just do a hair do a head in one day. Take some days. But it's coming along. It's coming along. Yep. Alright. I'm going to get off of here. You all have a blessed one. Later. Okay, y'all. Yep. I did it again. <laughs> I did these zillions again. This time I did the uh, brown and black. Yeah. And I decided to just lay my hair down instead of putting it up in a pony. Well, I'll probably eventually put it up in a pony. But right now, it's night. I just got to finish doing all these 50 million braids. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get off of here. Yeah. Zillions are back. <laughs> I haven't dyed my hair yet, but I'm thinking about it. So, I'm most likely going to eventually dye my hair up underneath these zillions. Alright, I'm going to get off of here. Y'all have a blessed one. Later. Y'all, I love these zillions. I do. <laughs> I just put them up in a little, put a little clip in the bag. To put them up so I don't have to put these ones up in the ponytail whenever <coughs> excuse me whenever I want to uh, wear them up I can just throw a little clip in there oh yeah that's what I'm going to do instead of ponytailing it up alright y'all have a blessed one later oops Y'all see? Yes. It is pretty out here. It is. It's so pretty out here. Yes. It's pretty. It's a nice pretty day. That groundhog not seeing his shadow. I'm starting to be like, you know, the groundhog might really... 
know what's up. I don't know why these people decided to use the groundhog as the, you know, the thing to be for us to decide whether this weather is going to be bad or good for the rest of the winter. I just don't get that. But they did. They, uh, they're using the, uh, they're using this, um, groundhog as the situation. And it's crazy. I don't like to get, uh, certain things. But, yeah. And it's, it's real crazy. But, um. And I'm, I, I mean, I ain't complaining. Like, I'm just saying that, like, who, where, where did this all start? Like, to look at this groundhog and, like, be like, let's decide that you going to be the thing to decide whether this weather is going to be bad or the rest of the weather going to be bad or good or how, how that worked. But so far... It seems to be working. It seems to be working. The, because the groundhog has not saw his shadow. So, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm finna get off of here. I just wanted to uh, update y'all and about the weather. And let y'all see how it's looking out here. Okay, y'all, it's time for me to have a chat with you younger women out here. I'm in my 50s, y'all already know that. Know that. And I'm not only in my 50s, but I'm, I'm, I'm in my storm, too. So, you know. Y'all, I deal with MS, among other things. And so, it ages me faster. So, I want to say that, I want to say this to all you younger women who haven't experienced the aging process yet. Or the older women who haven't, who haven't experienced the aging process because they don't have any health issues or anything yet. So when they do, I mean, so if things ever change in their life, that they can know, that they can know that it's okay. Like, I'm embracing this. I love getting older. Because, you know, God, one thing about God, he says, when the outer fades, the inner is being renewed. So... You know, it's more, it's more about your heart. Cause that's the thing that he going to come for. He going to be, he going to, he going to judge. It ain't got nothing to do with this outwards appearance. Mm -mm, Cause that's going, that's going to fade. But he lets you know that when he said that, he said when the outer fade, the inner is being renewed. So focus more on your heart and don't care about, I mean, I mean, embrace the changes that comes upon getting older. Look at it as blessings. Look at aging as blessings like I do every day. I'm like, thank you, God. Today is the day you have made, and I'm going to rejoice in it. I don't wake up and say, oh, thank you. I mean, I don't wake up to my day and be like, oh, I'm older. I wake up to my day and say, I'm older and wiser. <laughs> so I'm happy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm so beautiful. Because when I had, when I was, you know, I had all that younger beauty. I didn't have the inner beauty. So to be blessed, to be older and still here. Because God say, you know, he's not the... God of the dead, but the living. So, he still got a purpose and a plan for my life. So, I'm never going to, like, look at me, that me aging as a bad thing. I'm looking at it as blessings, as you should, you should too. So, this is just for the 
future you. When you're going through something, hopefully you look back on these, look back on my channel. You've come upon my channel and you've, you've listened to this chat and you realize like it's not the end of the world because I've aged because of either age or sickness or choice or life choices. You know what I'm saying? So look at it as like, it's people that don't even make it to this age. It's people that don't, don't even make it to this point in their life to go to, to go through the aging process, to go through something. So like, think about the little things. You know what I'm saying? Think about all the blessings. Like, oh, you can still talk, you can still walk, you can still see, you can still, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though the hand is gripping over with the MS and all, everything that that you're going through with the shakiness, the everything, even though all those things are happening, you're still, you're still functional. So think about that. Don't think about like how somebody else is perceiving you because they going you know god said you read what you sow so if they mocking your life or they or they like you know like caring about like what you're going through thank you for serving i mean thank them for serving you and not god because they got a whole nother life to live and possibly it won't be where hopefully God forgive you and let you go. <laughs> no, I don't want to say that part because I, 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 I don't want to like, I want everybody to be able to repent and change, you know, because we've all made ignorant choices and decisions and sin and come short of the glory. So hopefully God just judging their hearts. And knowing that, you know, even in that aspect of their life where they're they're being a certain way to people that um that they're that in other aspects of their life they, they bless them. They they're putting out blessings. So God sees that part of it and both and forgive them and you know. Yeah. But I'm just trying to tell you don't ever let anybody make you feel like you're sick because you know that if you're if the aging process wasn't there or the sickness or the life choice wasn't affecting you that you there will be there will be no difference between you two it's still no difference between you two even with that all those things affecting you the only difference is is that you like your outer probably has faded, but the inner has been renewed. So you got blessings that or that you are older and you're wiser. So that's the only difference. Okay. So and look at them differences as blessing because nobody's going to ever be the same. Don't look at it as hindrance. Okay. So a word to the to anybody who's feeling um like being older is a hindrance it's not it's a blessing and i'm loving it so that's why i live every day with a good i mean you know choosing happiness because well i i never looked at my i never looked at me my aging process any different ever in my life like i never i i never looked at it as like i never looked at that as a situation i only looked at my um God, he, he like my family, you know, like everything I went through, you know, when I had to, when I got in my storm, because we were so, we were so close, you know what I'm saying? So when that changed, when that relationship changed, that was the hardest in the beginning, 
But now I look at it as a blessing because everybody ain't meant to do life with you and like be in your storm. So it's not, it's not like a, get, go get spiritual discernment, get wisdom. So, you know, when things are put out there in, I mean, uh, when you go through something, you can know God's truth. It don't matter what anybody else think or how they perceive you or whatever. It's, it only matters what you think. And if you feel that something's wrong, change it. If not, trust God and live your life. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to get on here and just like, yes, this is what my aging... um process is 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 it's the most it's young it's young it's it's older but young you know you get that yeah because when i was my younger self i was older do you get that yeah, because when you're younger and you have all that beauty and da 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 da, your life is going so fast. Like you're you're older. You have to grow. You have to be old so fast. And when you're older, things slow down. So you get to be your you you get to be your younger self. So trust God. And like I love y'all. I'm praying for y'all. And like. Today, wake up and say, thank you, Lord, for just loving me, for letting me age gracefully. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed my little chat that I had with y'all. Because <laughs> I want y'all to understand, uh, be clear about what I'm saying when I tell y'all that um my younger that I'm younger now that I'm older I just mean like one thing I don't mean is no I just mean like when you get older let me say this first because God say you got to be childlike you got, you know, to basically come back to him. So, when I say you get older, when I say you you get older, and I say growth, I just meant that it's a different elevation. Like, you don't stop growing, but, you know, you your elevation is different. Like, you... you Like you, you like, there's just, I'm like, look, like people, they like to get surgery and do all of this to stop the aging process to them. Kudos. I, I love that for them. Like I have no issues with that, but I'm just saying this, when you get older, you don't have, there's things that you don't, you know, that you would do when you was younger, like like, you know, like you would like try to keep up with the jump. You do things to keep up with the Joneses. But when you get older, you know, everybody don't want to do certain things. And you don't have to, to keep up with the Joneses. So that's why, that's what I'm saying about growth as an, when you, when you, I mean, when you young, I mean, when you older you younger because when you're younger there's so many things that you think you need to have or you need to do or you need to be you know what I'm saying but when you get older you're younger because there are so many things that you know that you don't have to be or that you don't have to need <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah that's i mean like i'm not telling you to 
I mean, you you get it when I you get what I mean when I'm just saying that you older but you're younger. And when you younger, you're older. Because everything is so fast paced when you're older. Your mind is like and some people still, like I told you, age don't make you grown. Life experience system. So some people still chasing that's older. It's still older because they still feel certain things. It's not because they just naturally want them. It's just some people just feel that they just need them. And it's okay. So, like I told you, we're all different. But for me, I feel I I I feel like I'm younger, and I'm enjoying being older. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's it's what you think and how you feel. Now, I just wanted to just say that because I don't want you to ever think like I'm like, oh, no, because you get older, you stop elevating, you stop going, you stop doing this, stop doing that. No, you always have to grow and grow in life. You never stop growing. But I'm just saying you, your growth don't have to. I mean, your growth and elevation can be at your own speed now. That you're older you know what i'm saying it don't you when you you because when you young all you know is susie juicy whoever they got everything that you think that you need to have to live life but when you grown i mean when you older you those things become less important and you know that all you really need is God. So that's all I'm saying. So like in your life, um, so in your older life, just live it. Live it. I mean, just just enjoy it. Just enjoy. Yeah, I have a, you have no a matter what it, have what it is, if it's hard, sad, wrong, devastating, whatever, enjoy it because you got a whole nother one to live. And I feel like this is our test, and it's a big one. <laughs> so, but we got to go through it with good hearts. Okay, I'm gonna get off of here. I'm gonna stay off of here. Hey, y'all. Yeah, y'all see I did some some more zillions in my hair. <laughs> yeah, I tried to put on some clothes, but y'all put a little baddies. Y'all know I still got my faded to y'all. I got some old bougies that I've had for years. But I got these old bougies for years. Yeah, they're cute, they're cute, they're cute. And... I got on my house shoes because, as y'all can see, let's see my toenails. I don't know if y'all can see them. They grow, they grow so fast and so long. Yeah, and I've been lazy to cut them off. So, and I still got some polish on there that need to be removed. And I still got this. I thought I'd just have y'all on here with me. That's why I do a little. Uh, y'all know I'm cleaning my kitchen, breaking my kitchen down, so I can get ready to do some DIYs. So I'm gonna try to do that for days. But like I told y'all, I ain't even gonna bring it up today. Y'all know the situation. Y'all know what's been holding me down. <laughs> 
So yeah, it's bad. Yeah. So I'm gonna put my hair up, put some music on, and pray and <coughs> force myself to uh uh, get it to, get it together and try to uh y'all y'all know something I haven't been back on here I mean been back on here doing this um deep clean to my kitchen since I showed y'all that I started cleaning off my counters. That's the only Thing I did one side of my counter and wiped one side of my wall. I got to get together. But don't worry, I've still been um, every day cleaning my house. I just haven't done any this deep cleaning so I can get this kitchen uh, together. But I'm going to force myself this week. Push myself, not force, but push myself to figure it out. Hey, how's, how's Alright, so I'm putting some music on. I'm not going to keep y'all with me a little bit. I'll show y'all the progress. Because this lady. Like, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of the place. Mm, mm, mm. I just made the biggest mess ever, so I gotta go, y'all. I don't know how in the world did this thing wait until I'm three years to do it. Yep, see, this is real life. Y'all got to be on here when real life is happening. Thank the Lord. It feel for it. And then not done over. But waste some water. But it just makes me know. Let me know. Hey, you need to get it together and get the cleaning in here. I'm cooking at the same time, y'all. So, yeah. I'm actually making some, um,
see this 
vinegar. You want to soften your paintbrush, your old paintbrushes. And if you broke, this is all you have to do. That's all you need is some vinegar. So, yeah. Um, and it works. And when it's, if you want to know how to do it, just go on the go online and look up how to soften paintbrushes. And yeah, go on the sites, look up how to soften paintbrushes. And yeah. Okay, y'all. I'm going to get off of here. I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing the DIY coming up soon all right later okay y'all this is day one of DIY this is her first coat Oh yeah, see, I'm using those old paint brushes to do it. So I'll tell y'all like if I'm gonna have to get a new one to recoat it after I put the second coat on it. But they it's doing okay so far. Alright, day one. Yes. Oh yeah, and just now the paint haven't dried yet. So yeah. We're trying to get it to dry. I mean we're letting it dry. I'm finna let it dry. Yeah. Alright. Later. Okay, y'all. I wanna show y'all that it works. Y'all see this? Yes, there's paint brushes. I'm gonna put it in there. And it unhardens them. It softens them up. And this paintbrush I had like years, years ago. So yeah, it worked. So yeah, get that vinegar and I'll soften your old paintbrushes. I mean, unharden your old paintbrushes. <laughs>